November 28th, 1958, my husband, Charles Bernoski, a patrolman here in the city of Rollway, about 12.15 at night, I was looking for him to come home because he said he would be home early. And instead, about 12.30, maybe 12.35, car drove up and someone got out and couldn't see who, walked up and rang the front doorbell. I opened the door and it was Father Hermans from St. Mary's Parish here in Rollway. I looked and I knew that I wouldn't see Charles. And after 40 years of waiting and find, trying to find out, of course I wanted to know who murdered my husband. I did want that. I wanted them punished for it. And there is no statute of limitations on murder. Miss, Mrs. Sapsa was arrested in um, 1999 for the larceny of monies from her brother. She told police that she had a story to tell. And in this process, she told the story of her brother coming home with bullet wounds and Schiff, Mr. Schiffer coming to their house with bullet wounds. And her mother took them into the kitchen and removed them. The mother told everyone to keep quiet. And that's how we knew that Robert Zerinsky shot my husband. In the process of the trial, Mr. Zerinsky was found to be not guilty of this action. They said there was, the jury said there wasn't enough evidence to prove that he was guilty. We were all just amazed. We were just amazed that they found the not guilty. We just were amazed. And then, what? We went to the civil trial. And the civil case was heard with a jury of eight people. And these pe eight people in their wisdom, said he was responsible. That's what I wanted, was that he was responsible. We went to appellate court, we went back to the civil court, we went back again to appellate. And each time, we would said, go ahead, go ahead. And then in the last one, which was uh, this past, June, July, June, June, June. Um, they, they said that I had to, re they said that he was, he was not responsible and therefore monies had to be returned. And now he's even in, not only wanting what monies that we obtained, but monies for his uh, legal expenses and his attorney's expenses. That amount of money, I don't think anybody in their 70s can look up and say, oh, I've got it. Don't worry about it. Hey, a drop in the bucket, but it's not. It's blood in the bucket. You know, this is going almost to a quarter of a million dollars he wants. Who has that amount of money? You know, where do you get it from? Just, just, well, it's, it's another devastating thing. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at his actions, but it's just takes you back and it, you start to think about things. Well, you wonder, you know, and of course Charles isn't here to guide me, so we'll keep going.
We'll keep going. Does PBA have a, a long-standing tradition of, of, of uh, taking care of our family members, of those uh, officers who made the, the ultimate sacrifice? You're not out there alone. You're not forgotten. Uh, many years have passed, but you're, you're still in our hearts, and we will be there for you no matter how we can assist. I have just a, a letter of commitment from the, the organization, um, and we, will, uh, we re will reach out to our membership and to our friends in, in business and make sure that, uh, that you are taken care of. And you can put your head on the pillow tonight and, and not worry that uh, uh, whatever the outcome is here, um, that we will be there. Okay. <clears throat> You don't need to say anything. <laughs> you don't need to say anything. <laughs>